Hello and welcome everyone! In this video, we are going to be talking about how you can get away from raiders like Cell and Frieza in Dragon Ball Breakers. So let's get started! This game's pretty challenging when it comes to running from the raider. It's absolutely hard to get away from them because they are very powerful. But there are a few things you can do to get away from them. First off, I want to talk about our change power. It's the most obvious option. Now, change power can be gotten from crates, usually yellow ones, but sometimes blue ones, and rescuing survivors. Survivors are that you can find around the area also give you a very small amount of change power, which you can use to power yourself up. You have a level 1, 2, 3, and 4 set that you can use. Now, with this, you can transform into someone like Piccolo or Krillin or certain characters you can get from Agacha. And while you do have the ability to transform into characters, some of them are obviously better than others. However, there is one specific move that I don't have here yet called Kaioken. Kaioken is an amazing move for teleportation and transfers around many different areas. So overall, you want to use that and use this to run away from the opponent. Unless you are at the super uh, time machine over at the middle area. In which case, you could use this to fight them and distract them if you team up with your party. But if you're not coordinated like that, you can use this to run away from your opponent. And Kaioken would be really good. Would be a really good option. Oh, see right here. We have a uh, we have a change L from a red capsule. These don't really appear in red capsules. This might be actually another good opportunity to show you something. Another tool that you can use is that you have multiple tools that are available to you. However, a lot of people haven't been using this as of late. But I feel it is important, as it is very crucial to being able to, to escape the, bra the raiders. First off is not that move. That move is not a thing. You have two moves in Pacific. The grapple one, which you do get at the beginning of the game. You are able to find a wall, not too far range, but honestly, a pretty far range. Let me actually check how far range this goes. Oh my god. I actually didn't know how far range this went. You can use this to launch yourself over to places and help you escape the raider as well. This is very important, or get close to the raider like I did. This is very important for things so that you are able to basically run away from a raider at a really top speed near where they are when you are not when you don't have any change mode, which to be fair can happen quite a bit. Now the next one would obviously be the float device or this springboard here. This springboard allows you to jump up really high and go a pretty far distance as well. Mixing that with climbing, you can actually make for some very interesting escape options if you are creative that you probably wouldn't be able to think of otherwise. These two are very good specific tools for getting away from the raider. You also do have a smoke screen ability as well. Which is not as good, but is good for disorienting the raider. So use it if you need to as well you could theoretically use a uh you could theoretically use that and then a change mode you can use like uh this and then no not that one this and then change mode to fly away and specifically uh, make yourself lo lose yourself from the raider it can be pretty awesome when you figure out something uh, super cool to use with your tools. So your tools and change mode are both very practical tools. So that you can actually get away from this raider person. Whether they be Cell or Frieza. <laughs> There's one more thing I do want to talk about though. It is uh, essentially hiding. Hiding is a great way to escape the raider, as they may not be able to see you if you don't see them, essentially. Simply put, if you find a good hiding spot, for instance, inside the uh, one of these ships, for instance, they don't typically come in here, at least as of the beta, then you may be able to just escape the raider while being a human. 
knowing your entire locale is fantastic for them. Oh, would you look at that? It seems like we have our first case study right now. Let's hop up. Go up this way. We can jump over there. Use a smoke. Oh, wrong button. And we do have our emergency evade. So we are able to fly away. While we are able to escape our wonderful raider bot over here. Now, keep in mind, once a raider finds you, it is very, 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 very hard to escape them. Which is why Kaioken is so good. It makes it so much easier to try to escape from a raider. Here we go. We can stop this one. And another thing you could actually do to escape from a raider would be to go over and now uh, revive. Yes, that is exactly what I want to do. I kid. But one thing that could be good to do when it's trying to escape from a raider would be to change uh to change your field. Let's say the raider finds you on top of this hill right here. Now one thing you could do when you throw a smoke bomb might be to go this way. And this way, you are able to evade the raider because they may not know you fell down there and they may not know you fell into a cave. And specifically, if you know the map, being able to fall down in specific areas may be very helpful to you. But yeah, those are my uh, major tips for beating and defeating a raider. Uh, first off, you would have to use your change form to escape. Make sure to use your grapple tools, your flotation tool, and your smoke screen tool to be able to be tricky with your movement. And make sure that you are able to find good hiding spots in the map, as well as find good places to drop down or up in a map in order to change your elevation so that the raider gets more confused. In any event, I hope everyone's enjoying the Dragon Ball Breakers beta. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please leave how you think the Breakers beta is in the comments. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye.